From basic keys and clicks, Logitech is earning an extra life with high-end gear designed for speed and smarts. In a game where every millisecond counts, are there too many other players to keep this company from leveling up? Or is this industry ready to kick into turbo mode? Sometimes a seemingly boring stock can come out of nowhere and give you some spectacular gains. Just look at Logitech International, LOGI. Here's a company that's mainly a maker of computer peripherals, keyboards, mice, headphones, mobile speakers, video conferencing products, tablet accessories, remote controls, all kinds of expensive and uh, you know, kind of high-end gaming gear, but not everything is too expensive, I have to tell you. In early November, we had Logitech CEO on the show. Get this. The stock has rallied 50% since then. 50%. Now, we know this company is doing well. The stock soared higher after the latest quarter reported a month ago. What a quarter that was. But there's a new issue we have to address. Last week, IBM told us it was taking thousands of remote workers, people who use the web to do their jobs from home, and bring them back to the office. As it turns out, that's uh, kind of the opposite of what Logitech stands for. So let's check in with Bracken Darrell, the CEO of Logitech International, hear more about his company and the case for people working remotely. Mr. Darrell, welcome back to Man Money. Good to see Thank you, sir. You. Thank you very Bracken, much, Great Jim. to see you. Great to be back. Before we get to the remote, I just want to just say, uh, you turned us on to something here. Uh, you turned us on to the level of intensity of esports, and actually went Incredible. to a site where you just have, it's just, you are in many ways the facilitator of this whole amazing thing, aren't you? Well, it's just such an exciting thing. You know, the, the, when I, if I start throwing out numbers, it, it's just mind-boggling. You know, the esports athletes will click, will, will click a keyword like this 13 times in a second. No. They'll, they'll do 50 million clicks in, uh, in three or four years. Uh, it, it's just the intensity of that sport. And here's an amazing fact. The more people are watching, uh, are watching on YouTube and Twitch and online are watching people play esports than the combination of Netflix, Hulu, uh, ESPN, Showtime, all combined. This is and your stuff is really charging from the, the your site. This is geared. This is geared for it. You're going to be faster than anybody else. Right? Well, this is you know this one in particular. We we make our own switch, for example, mm -hmm. in keyboards, and our switch is 25 percent faster than anybody else's switch. And we because we design it to be fast because and fast speed matters in esports. Today, Washington Post: A golden age of esports terrapins are seeing green. Uh, right. Talking about scholarships. Yeah. Uh, talking about athletic directors. Yeah. Uh, t TV rights. It's, it's all happening. It's all happening. And my brother is the president of a small liberal arts college that you wouldn't dream. And, uh, you know, it, kind of independent of me, his team got in touch with uh, us and said, hey, you know, we're, we're thinking about creating a club team for esports. This is a thousand, a thousand student liberal arts school. It's sweeping the country. It's sweeping the world. It's everywhere. And it is really something that you saw coming or else you wouldn't have the fastest. Well, I certainly wouldn't say I saw it coming. You know, Logitech was in, in, in uh, gaming you know, for, a, for a long time. But I did. I was lucky when I joined the company because I had three kids. I mentioned this right, last time. Right. I've got three kids. All three of them are gamers. And, and before I came to the company, they said, Dad, this is, a, this is amazing. You're going to have an incredible ride because if you guys just improve your products, you can be incredible. Well, you have you are way ahead, and I know I've this one. It is fantastic, oh. but now I, it just really is. It really is just terrific. But now I got to ask you about this issue about working at home because you sure. have tremendous video conferencing. Sure. The number of people that you every day video conference at Logitech tells me oh, that yeah. this is just second second nature. But we 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 are so video uh, focused. You know, we if you're under 30, you don't do audio calls anymore. It's all video. And so what we've done is because we do make equipment that enables people to connect through video, we basically have just put them in every closed space we can. And so people are videoing everywhere. We have every with 12,000 people every month. There are 12,000 calls a month. Almost on average, everybody's on a video call every day in our company. So then, what is uh, if you're looking at what IBM's doing? Uh, would that just in your idea discourage creativity? Does discourage people who otherwise physically couldn't be there who might be brilliant and, and you don't want to lose? You know, I, I look, I have a lot of risk, I mean, tremendous respect for IBM. It's been around. And, it's and, lasted. I, and their situation's obviously unique. And I, I'm not there, so I don't know what, what situation they're in. But I really believe that, you know, people are working from everywhere all the time anyway. When I go home at night, I don't know about you, when I go home at night, I'm, I'm, I'm emailing, I'm videoing. Right. I know work doesn't go away when I get home, so you ought to really be able to work from anywhere. Of course, there are times you need to be in the office. And because and, and, teams the, need to come You can still believe in an off site, of right? Course. You have a big off site, people get together. Absolutely. Or even come into the office occasionally. But, but you really ought to be able to work from wherever you want to. All right, so tell me what you've got that's new since we've seen you last because you guys are a house of innovation. This is so cool. You know, I wish I had a big uh, 
a bowl of water, a, you know, a kind of pool of water. I, this, first of all, this floats. It's it's are waterproof. You, are you serious? Oh yeah. This yeah. is the single biggest oh, yeah. issue. I have a pool. I admit I'm fortunate <laughs> enough to have a pool. And this is all we think about is our iPhone going in the water and this going in the water. This is our biggest work. <laughs> and you fix so the cool. worry. Oh, it's so cool. It's it's uh it's super sturdy. I mean, you can throw that up in the air. Do it. We should have turned it on and played it here. We, you can throw it in the water. You can do anything. I mean, it's just awesome. So that's a new one. We've got this is our latest gaming keyboard, which as we said, is 25% faster in, in uh, switch speed right. than, the, than the others. These are, this, speaking of our conference mm -hmm. camp products, these are two. This is for offices, you know, for everybody watch, watching right. who's got a small huddle room or an office. This is, for, this is our latest webcam, super cool, 3D. This is for small huddle rooms. We've got, we can do them for big rooms now. So we've got a whole array of products for the for yeah, the How many people rooms. do you have just doing R&D on thinking what people really will want eventually? Well, we have 650 people doing R&D, and we have all of our teams are looking at new stuff. At any point in time, uh, in addition to the categories we're already in, we've got somewhere between three and 13 teams working on new things, right. new categories. And just one last question. Is it possible, if someone is from a team that doesn't have your the, the fastest keyboard, and they see people who have, uh, don't they, they're going to lose, right? Well, they should call me. I mean, but they, they will lose. Yeah. I mean, that difference. I'm saying oh, this yeah. is. They could. There's you know, no. I mean, look, these guys, these could. terrapins, they would lose if they were up against UC Irvine and they had this, and and, well, and uh, these guys didn't. Well, you know, it's a it's a competitive sport. You know, and every millisecond counts. So I feel free to get in touch with us. We'll we'll outfit any esports team. You are too much. Well, this company is just taking off, and you can see why, because they've got the youth and the innovation. This is what works now. This Bracken Dow is the president and CEO of Logitech International. What a win it has been for you. May have money's back after the break. Right. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.